Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be conceptually talking about the standard deviation. So we're not going to be calculating the standard deviation because right now we don't really have a use for calculating the standard deviation. And I'm not a huge fan of just doing calculations just because, <laughs> even though I just did that in the previous video. Crap. Anywho, <laughs> the standard deviation is a little bit more complicated. So my goal is to help you guys understand what the standard deviation means. And then if you ever need the standard deviation, you can look up how to calculate it way simpler than trying to memorize some formula or understand it in a whole lot of depth right now. So the standard deviation is based on a normal distribution. A normal distribution is when we look at a particular feature for a bunch of data and we plot it, we get what looks like a bell. And it makes sense when we're working with data that kind of occurs naturally, usually. So think of like height, for example. There's going to be very few, very short people there's going to be a lot of average height people and then very few very tall people. That's a normal distribution. So if we plotted this, which we just did, this would be height and this would be amount of people. So the farther this way, the taller you are, but the higher this way, uh, the more number of people there are that are that height. So in here, we can split it in half and this is going to be the average. So on average, people are about halfway through. And I kind of kind of went to the right a little bit, but you know, just right in the middle. <laughs> that's going to be the average. In this situation, it's also going to be the mode because that's the highest point, which means most of the people are going to be at the average. Now, what is the standard deviation? It's essentially a calculation for how far something deviates from this middle point. And it's split up into sections to where we have measurements of one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and three standard deviations. So we can just kind of crop our data. And this section right here, a particular person who is about, you know, this high right here. And you know, there's a lot of people that high. Those are the people who are one standard deviation away from that center point, the average. So anybody who is one standard deviation is pretty close to the mean or the average. Now we can go a step farther and grab people maybe here and here. And anybody in this area, these are the people who are not super short and also not super tall. This is going to include a larger majority of the people because a lot of people are within two standard deviations away from the mean where only a small section of people are out here. So this will include anybody who is sort of close. Like if you were, you know, this tall on the height, height measurement, well, you're still two standard deviations away from the mean. So you're still technically sort of close. Three standard deviations, you know, now we're getting kind of far. These are the people who are really short and really tall, but still not those giants and those really, really short people. Okay, now this looks terrible. It's really messy, so I apologize about that. But essentially what you need to know is that you can measure how close something is to the average based on these standard deviations. So if I said something was like three standard deviations away, well, you know that's pretty kind of far from the average. You know, that's, that's pretty far distance meaning the person is either pretty tall or the other way, pretty short, because now he's only like this tall rather than like that tall. You know what I'm saying? I drew a new one because it was looking pretty terrible. <laughs> if we wanted to classify how many people were in a particular area, well, there's actually some standards because you know we're basing this off of the perfect example. <laughs> so generally within this first deviation, this is going to include 68 of the people. Inside of the second deviation, that's going to include those 68 plus some more, so it's actually going to be 95% of the people. Now, all the way up to the third deviation, well now we're talking, holy cow, man, that's like a lot of people, everybody in this box here. Well, that's actually going to be like 99.7% of the people. So to get three standard deviations away from the mean, you basically got it. I mean, almost everyone's gonna be within that range. Two standard deviations, that's getting closer, but still 95% of the people, pff, if you picked a random person, they're more than likely gonna be 
in, in two standard deviations. 68, that's getting a little smaller. <laughs> so that is um, a little harder to get into, and um, but still, the majority of the people are going to be in that little sliver. Yep, so that makes sense. I mean, if you had 100 people, 68 of them would be within one standard deviation, 95 would be within two standard deviations, and 99.7 of them would be within three standard deviations, and 0.3 of a person would be beyond three standard deviations away from the mean. So hopefully that makes sense. If you want to know how to calculate that, uh, search the internet and uh, I'm sure that'll be lots of fun. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, that's all the stats I have for you right now. So we're going to get back into the machine learning goodies. So <laughs> see you then.